Alright, hey guys, I'm Zelda Master, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Master Mode. So here we are in the Tobab Grasslands, and well, like I said in the last video, I was gonna wait here until I could find the horse I'm looking for, and I decided to, you know, reload the game several times since I finally saved, and well, luckily for me, we have found it, my friends. Yeah, I didn't believe my eyes at first, so I scared it off because uh, I didn't know if it was actually the horse I was looking for, but it is. So hopefully, hopefully, the stats are good and everything, and this is exactly what I'm looking for. So, it is time to tame Aggro. Aggro's in the wild here in the Tobab grasslands, and this is going to be my main steed from here on out. So, get ready, guys, as we slowly descend onto our new horse. <laughs> okay, knocked us off. Uh, never mind then. Come on, we got this! And jump! Alright, here we go! So, I don't think it's gonna take too much, we'll see. Hopefully it takes a lot of stamina, because the more stamina, the better the horse is. And, alright, well, we have tamed it. <gasps> yes! Yes, okay, I, I got a little too excited. Uh, but, because it was what I was waiting for. The reason why I wanted, uh to wait forever until I found this horse is because this is a really good horse, has really good stats. I think this is the one that I got in my other file. The thing is the horses are RNG, so, uh, you know, it, it could not m maybe have the same stats that I have. It might be different, but, I mean, five stamina is the best it can have, so I'm happy with that. That is great. Um, sweet. So this is, yes, aggro, as you can tell, uh, it's a black-haired horse. The mane is pretty dark as well, it kind of looks black, but the best part about it is the little eye it kind of has. Uh, it resembles Aggro, obviously, from Shadow of the Colossus, that's why we're going to name it Aggro. That's why um, I was looking for this exact kind of horse. But obviously, there are um, similar horses to this, like looking exactly like it, but not having amazing stats. Hopefully, this is one with amazing stats. I mean, already, this is stamina, it's going to look like it's going to be a good horse. I hope it is. So. All right, starting off to a, you know, good note this episode. Now we're going to go ahead and make our way pretty much, um, I guess we should try to, uh, first, obviously, um, register Hagrid before anything. But then, yeah, then we'll start making our way elsewhere and maybe try to go on adventures with Hagrid because uh, now that we have this new horse, I'm definitely going to want to use it as much as possible. But uh, let's actually make sure we make our way to the stable without dying, because if I do die on my way there, then, um, yeah, I probably might end up losing aggro. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but, I mean, it's going really quick. I think its speed's amazing as well. I think overall this horse is perfect, in my opinion. But, uh, yeah. I, I, I don't know why I'm so hyped for something. I'm kind of making up in my head, like, in my mind, this is... Uh, a reference slash the same horse from Shadow of the Colossus, uh, but <laughs> in reality it isn't, uh, but e either way it doesn't matter, to me it is, so yeah, we have aggro, my friends, and I can't wait to play Shadow of the Colossus HD, which comes out next year, I'm definitely going to do a Let's Play on that, so look forward to that next year when it does come out. Um, I, I would have done, like, a, a playthrough on Last Guardian, but I honestly didn't like it too much. Like, I love Team Ico uh, as a whole, like, both uh, Shadow of the Colossus, Ico, the original game, and Last Guardian are all great games, but I would say Last Guardian for the, like, what, seven-year wait, um, yeah, the hype wasn't really worth it, I guess, uh, but it's still a good game, I don't know, just in my opinion, I'm not too big a fan of how, uh, linear it is, and how you kind of have to rely on Trico throughout, like, the whole game, unlike in Ico, where you kind of just had Yorda follow you, okay, wait, these guys can hit us, but you kind of grabbed Yorda by her hand and then walked around and whatnot, um, which was the original Ico, so, uh, yeah, even though you had a partner you had to take with you everywhere similar to Last Guardian, it was uh, kind of like you were always in control, unlike in uh, freaking Last Guardian, where Trico is kind of the one in control. I don't know. To me, that's a, not a huge fan of, like, you have to rely on the AI to, um, to do most of the work, and... Um, yeah, I just didn't enjoy it too much. I still think it's a good game. Hopefully, I'll, I'll do something on it in terms of videos. So I do want to uh, kind of showcase it in a sense. But okay, wait. Is this the right area? or No, no, is it? I'm heading to the Horse God Bridge. I don't really care for that. I don't think I registered a horse that ended up dying, so we're fine. 
Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and- no, 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 wait. It's raining, it's dark, I'm not liking the way things are looking. Like, I feel like something bad might happen, so let me just, yeah, make my way to the stable. Uh, but wait a second. Oh, no, no, I was supposed to pass this. Am I? Yeah, I am. Okay. It's- never mind. I, I am supposed to pass this bridge. I don't know why I didn't recognize this too much. I mean, it's not necessarily a bridge, but it is a pathway that, uh, you know, is me in between a body of water. So it's kind of like a bridge, but yeah, I thought that was actually the horse god bridge, but it isn't. I mean, I'm pretty sure the horse god bridge is actually a man-built bridge, right? I mean, should we visit the horse god? We might. Uh, I could, I could like place my horse medallion or my travel medallion there. Horse medallion? What I call it that? I could place my travel medallion there, and then anytime something bad happens to a horse, uh, you know, just instantly I can just um, speak to him. But yeah, this is weird um, controlling aggro because aggro is not willing to follow the path right now. Uh, I believe because yeah, it has temperament issues. Uh, its bondness isn't maxed yet, but once it is maxed, then we'll be good. But look at all of these different horses. I don't care anymore. I don't have to try to like, you know, see if it's you know one of the ones I'm looking for because we're good now. We don't have to look for another horse. Uh, this is it, my friends. So yeah, alright, let's go ahead and now register this. I'm really excited to see the stats it has. I wonder if it's going to be exactly what um, I think it is. Wait, oh, I didn't look at... Well, okay, whatever. We'll, we'll, let's just name it really quickly. I like how he spammed through everything speaking about it, but uh, it's fine. Let's go ahead and do... Wait, what? Oh, there we go. Ag row. Simple as that. Ah. All right, and yes, I it, perfect stats. It has almost max speed, almost max strength, and perfect stamina. Its temperament is wild, but once the bond is max, we'll hopefully be good. Um, all right, so let me go ahead and feed it as many apples and whatever else as I can. I mean, you can feed out a lot of different fruit, I'm pretty sure, but I'm just gonna go through my apples. Actually, oh, whoa! Wait, I, I should, you know what? Can I chase this? Might be way too far away. Let's see. Yeah, it's way too far away. I think I'm actually looking all the way at the Bridge of Hylia, which is insanely far. Am I? Really? I might be. I think it's like um, heading in between the lakes. Either way, that is so cool. And I love when I spot one of the dragons from far away. So yeah, it's Pharaoh. I don't know if I should uh, really attempt heading to I kind of want to. See if I can get myself, you know, a scale of it, but okay, wait, let me see. What else should I feed aggro? Uh, um, uh, honestly, well, let, wait, let's see if it'll eat the mushrooms. I don't know if it does, actually. I don't think it'll eat mushrooms. Yeah, it won't. <laughs> um, but it, it does eat carrots, that's for sure. Actually, let's give it, like, two swift carrots. Come on. Oh, okay, there we go. Now it's eating. Wait, is it? Why is it not eating it? There we go. Well, let's see if it'll go any faster, if we can have it have full speed. Probably will, I think. We don't need to give it any stamina buffs because it has the best stamina it can get. So, all right, let's go. Now that aggro is registered, I don't have to worry about uh, anything in terms of, um, like, if it did die, well, I can always head to the horse god. So, yeah, we're good. This horse with its stats is permanently within this file, and I'm really happy for that. But now, let's move on. No more horse business. <laughs> uh, let's actually get to looking for shrines. So I'm trying to think. Where should I look for? Like, I mean, I, I could kind of enjoy the fact that I have aggro right now and uh, head places and literally just look for shrines like pretty much on foot or on horse back. Um, or I could teleport to Akala or like North Hyrule and kind of investigate newer areas. I'm trying to think which <laughs> pathway I should take because I could do anything pretty much, you know? So. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of make my way this way because I do believe, come on, stop. This is really annoying actually when your horse doesn't um, like obey you immediately. <laughs> Opponent, I don't think it's hard to like get max um, bond, like to, like to max it out, but the, the random horses I think is, yeah, it's a little bit different, especially with their temperament and whatnot. Like if it's different for that, as well, it might change on how long it takes. Okay, sweet. I knew we were going to be able to spot this again, but it might be glitched. Maybe. No, it isn't. All right. Awesome. So, yes, Farosh is here. And, well, I have... Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Zero. 
Zip. Nothing. Nothing to even interact with this thing with. Okay, it's fine, though. Might as well take a photo of this beauty. I mean, it's here in front of us, and l let's be honest, it's nice just standing in front of it. I don't have to be doing anything. To me, I'm having a lot of fun just watching it right now. Look at how huge it is. I'm just so impressed by, like, the... I like how giant this freaking thing is and how it just naturally moves around within the land of Hyrule as we're just exploring like we're doing our own thing it's doing our own, its own thing even though it is programmed just to kind of do a loop around the lake and that's about it uh, no, well actually no you see it in the Gerudo Highlands as well um, and in other places like uh, the if actual Ferron Tower but my point is oh you are a horrible horse and you're gonna get me killed you're gonna get me killed. Come on, let's go. Alright. Alright, never mind. You're not even noticing me. The stupid Lazolfo is blind. Alright, let's go. Let's not get hit though. So I needed this Horus to like me as much as possible, as soon as possible, so it doesn't get me killed because, yeah, your Horus will just end up running into a wall or something like that, which is no good when I'm trying to avoid enemies at all times. But, alright, so. Yeah, might as well kind of make our way up here to like center Hyrule around the Hylia River as well because I do believe there's a lot of shrines we can get from that route. Um, but I mainly need arrows because I feel like there's also another shrine that I couldn't do because I didn't have arrows. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, start farming for that once I do find a shrine or two with aggro because um, I want to make use of <laughs> being on horseback. Plus, we made it this far without teleporting, so might as well keep going. Um, let me see if I can get a good, good view of the Great Plateau from afar. I love the way it looks as well. Um, hopefully we'll be able to see a version of it completely built without it being destroyed or anything like that. I mean, all of Hyrule, seeing every single village, that'd be awesome. Or, like, here as well, I believe this is the Outpost Ruins. Um, but yeah, okay, either way, let's just go ahead and continue. So we got that shrine. I do believe... There is a shrine. Let me actually open up my map. There is a shrine like right here and probably one over here. And there are two over here, I'm pretty sure. I'm trying to think where else. I don't think there's any near me right now. So I'm going to have to head really north of Hyrule to grab these. But you know what? It's calm. It's nice. It's raining. I'll do it. <laughs> you know, I'm enjoying it. Actually, what I should have done while I was in Faron was probably um, get, uh, what's it called? Get some uh, hardy durians, like as many as I can, so I can make um, a lot of uh, yellow hearts. Because it is the king of fruit, as known in this game. And, um, I mean, it shows. It gives you some really good additional temporary hearts, if needed. And I feel like I can definitely use that. Especially since I'm kind of aiming for a low heart run. A lot of you guys are telling me to get hearts. I don't think any of you guys care anymore about this low heart challenge. Let me know if you do. If, if that is something you like, like watching me play with very little hearts knowing I can die in one hit, uh, then let me know if I should keep going with it. But either way, we're soon going to get the Master Sword, and that's why I am kind of focusing on shrines. I'd rather have more shrines done than anything else within this game because of, um, you know, I want the Master Sword. But I don't want to use, like, obviously a guide. I don't use the guide as is, but I don't want to use the chica sensor either i want to use my brain for everything so that way you guys don't have to hear the stupid chica sensor beeping and i can kind of challenge myself but wow as hyrule lights up you see death mountain you can see the it's super bright by the way a lot of people keep asking if the contrast of this game is off or is something wrong with my capture card or editing no i can easily uh you know adjust the contrast add more contrast whatever um, you, you get what I mean. Like, I can do whatever I want to the video if needed. I just choose to, um, to keep it, like, the way it looks, like, the way I see it. So you guys can see how I see it. I don't know if my monitor might make the colors a little more vivid and maybe the game isn't naturally like that. But I think it looks nice and vibrant. Um, though sometimes you can't see the textures on the floor, like... I mean, right now you can, but, like, when I do this, you can't. Yeah, I see. It's really, really bright. That's about it, actually. But, okay, we can see the the Great Deku tree over there. Actually, there's a memory, I believe, over here. Might as well pick it up. And also, I would like to listen to more of the cutscenes in Japanese. So, 
Let's go ahead and grab a memory that does lie right here. Um, yeah, like I said, I have these memories memorized. Not just because of the Let's Play, but no, because of the the landscape, the area it takes, the puzzle it, it, it took me the first time to find him. I had so much fun. I'll be honest, I'd say the memory puzzles were probably the most fun I had looking for, the, uh, for like any puzzle within the game. Even though these aren't really puzzles, just looking at the photo and trying to map it out within Hyrule, I had so much fun doing it. So yeah, I have these uh, kind of memorized really well because they are my favorite things to do within the game. This and obviously, I mean, I do love shrine hunting. Don't get me wrong, we're doing that now, but uh, yeah, just looking for the memories the first time was so cool. Such an awesome concept. Alright, we're not even going to see a, uh, expression from Link. It's just Machora's mask. That's interesting, but yeah, this is actually one of the final memories. And it sounds a lot like Final Fantasy. I don't know why, like a mixture of Zelda's theme with that. I don't know why I think of Final Fantasy. I should it. Okay, let's just... Toast. こんなことに。真珠がカーディアか。私たちを襲うなんて。まさか。厄災に。カノに奪われるなんて。ハルケルもリーバルもミファも。エルボ様も。きっともう真珠の中に。の力に目覚められず彼女に立ち向かうはずのいい物たちまで奪われ私が私が今まで死んできたことは何の役にも立たなかっただから大切な人たちを民を仲間をお父様を死ぬせてしまったやっぱり私は<笑> I don't know the the, the uh, I fu the crying's kind of funny. It kind of broke the moment. Like at first I'm like, oh my god, this game is so intense. And I don't know, like to me the crying wasn't really. Uh, I I kind of I couldn't help but laugh. It sounded kind of funny. But no, I mean the the, the voice acting is still good. I don't know. I just think it's kind of hard to really give a lot of emotion to how serious that scene was and the way as all the I don't know. That that's definitely a very serious scene. And I love that cutscene. Definitely one of my favorite memories. But, um, that ending, I don't know, just the delivery there was pretty funny. But anyways, that was cool seeing it in Japanese as is. Um, definitely next place we're gonna try it out in a different language. I love how we can easily swap. And since this is the first Zelda game with voice acting, I'm definitely interested. And that's why I guess I have more input than I normally should about a video game with voice acting. Because trust me, I'm not this critical with voice acting in anything. I could care less. But since this is Zelda, the first Zelda game with voice acting, um, I don't know. It's, it's a little different. It, it, like, it, it just feels different. Um, at, at least. And I feel like, I don't know. Um, just listening to it is, it's like a big step to say the least, because Zelda never had it, I don't know. But like, personally, I can, I can honestly go with uh, playing Zelda and not have voice acting at all. Actually, if they said the next Zelda game to have voice acting, I wouldn't care. I love voice acting, but it's, like, I wouldn't care if it had it, to be honest. Um, but either way, let's just go ahead and uh, continue on. And yeah, Agro is not listening to me at all. But uh, at least we picked up a memory. Pretty much all we did is get Agro and you grab a memory. And we've been slowly cruising through Hyrule for quite a bit. So let's you now try to do something. Okay, so here we are in Krenel Peak slash the Krenel Hills. And the only place we're missing is the mountains. Uh, I mean, this might be the remains of Krenel Mountain or something. I don't know. I doubt it. Since Minish Cap is, uh, I mean, it, I don't know, actually. Who knows? It could be. I doubt it, though. But it does, uh, let's see. It is in a similar place to where how Minish Cap's layout was, I think. I don't know. Uh, either way, I, I'm sure it's just in reference in name. 
uh, like the majority of the things within this game. And wait, did I never get this tower before? All right, sweet. Well, we found exactly where we wanted to go. So it's a good thing I decided to slowly make my way all the way through here because, uh, yeah, we're going to get this tower. We're going to get the shrine by the stable, you know, get the stable as well. Um... I mean, and if we can maybe pick up another shrine or two, we'll soon be ready for the Master Sword, I think. But let me see. Is there a shrine over here? I feel like there was one in the water that I completely missed out. Oh, there is. Okay, I wonder if I should get that one first. You know what? Let's let's do it. Might as well. Um, that Traveler is in a weird spot. I do believe there is a shield surfing um, person over there. The guy who tells you about shield surfing and actually sells some shields up there on that tree. Um, I think we can get a Korok Seed by using a shield up there or something like that. But I'm not here to do that. I'm here to get the Shrine instead. I don't really care for the Korok Seeds at the moment. Like I said, our goal right now is to get the Master Sword as soon as possible. But alright. Oh, I have no arrows here. Oh, and you need... This is so annoying. Okay, you know what? Since we've obtained aggro, let's actually put this to use. So here we go, guys. I'm in a sticky situation. I traveled a lot. I don't want to head back home, but I need some supplies before I can continue on with my adventure. So let's go ahead and place this here. So now we got our travel medallion where we need it. And now let's go ahead and just make our way over to Kakariko Village where captured memories is a thing. I don't know why it's a thing. Wait, why does it want to... Uh, instead back there for some reason or oh, you know what I think that's cuz I have it selected Once we find all the memories then we can complete that side quest cuz yeah You can't complete that side quest with just a memory or two you have to have them all I'm pretty sure but I Guess uh, yeah, I had that selected so I thought we were actually continuing that quest But we're not so let me just unselect that I don't really like having any quests selected like I like the fact that the map Shows you where to go and what to do like that's so awesome like they didn't have that in a Zelda game before, I'm pretty sure. Or did they? I feel like Twilight Princess HD added a little flag on the map of where you needed to go. But only Twilight Princess HD, I think, at least. Because I'm pretty sure the Wii U, uh, or Wii and GameCube version didn't have it. But anyways, um, yeah, let's go ahead and see how much money do we have. We have a good amount of money to purchase some arrows, but not a lot. I guess I could use some amiibo as well. Uh, you guys seem to be interested in, like, the amiibo drops and overall, um, me using them. So, you know what? I'll continue using them. So, alright, we're gonna, and I'll be sure to show them off since, uh, yeah, you guys can see exactly what I use. So, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Ganondorf amiibo really quickly. Hopefully we can get something good. It'd be awesome to get literally the rare item, the first drop, but that never happens. Yeah, we just got a Luminous Stone, sadly, but we also got some rupees, which I'm gonna take gladly and some apples sweet okay now I'm gonna use the 8-bit link amiibo I would like uh, some attire maybe I mean I don't really care actually just give me anything I'm sure anything will be useful Ooh, okay I wanted I mean I was hoping for attire so we got it sweet and now let's see what's inside this some arrows rupees five arrows perfect okay um we'll use two more amiibos I don't want to use too many to be completely honest with you guys we don't want to have these amiibo segments take too long. In our other playthrough, they did, but they were like end segments to the video. So here I'm going to go ahead and use the Link uh, Breath of the Wild Archer amiibo. These ones suck, but I mean, whatever. I'm just going to get the food it drops, I guess. That's pretty helpful. I should maybe use my NFC cards. Let me see if I can find one. Where did I put? I guess I don't really know where I put my cards, but... Our, our last one, ooh, bomb arrow, sweet. Okay, our last amiibo will just be uh, the Super Smash Bros. Prince of Zelda. Hopefully they make, it'd be cool if they made a, um, actually they do have a Breath of the Wild Zelda, don't they? I just realized they do, uh, but I never use it. <laughs> I want, what does it give you? Oh, because it gives you crap, that's why. But this one gives you something really good. It actually gives you the Twilight Princess bow, or the Twilight bow, her bow. Uh, but here we got the real bow, which I'll gladly take. I mean, that's definitely more damage than the... Huh. I, I mean, I guess the night spell. And I'm keeping the forest roller's bow because I like the fact that it shoots three, so technically it's better. And I just want to have a forest roller item, so I have a non-metal item. Actually, I just realized Revali's also wooden. Whatever, Revali's bow is going to break soon, let's be honest. It's not going to last too long. But okay, let's see if we have any hearty food. I don't want to cook anything with cocoa at the moment, sadly. 
Uh, you cook if you just chill, but I actually could do this. You know what? Yeah, let's just go ahead and cook the little bit of steak we have. Make a meat skewer, and I'm actually going to sell this, but let me see. What else do I have on me? Just little bits of food. You know, I'll just keep all the food we have on me. Let's not sell any food. I'm just here to buy. I think we got a good amount of rupees from uh, the amiibo drop, so let's go ahead and take all of the... Okay, that's really cheap. <laughs> Uh, let's see, hopefully we can buy all of these as well, yes? Yes, okay. Uh, Never mind, she's barely selling arrows. I don't know why she's hey. selling, a I think she's selling a lot, but she isn't. So, Mom. yeah, we're just gonna buy all the arrows yeah. we can with the amount of rupees we have. Uh, yeah, I guess I can only take two at the moment, but now we're good. So, with that done and done, it's time to leave and head back to... Uh, where we left the travel medallion and see if this worked out for us and I mean I'm, I'm sure it did because we placed the travel medallion but it's like the very first time I think I'm using the travel medallion for its intended purpose like it's not in Terrytown me being lazy you know not wanting to glide like for two seconds this is the first time I needed it and I'm using it actually I guess also in the Tobab grasslands but I actually have to leave because I need to get equipment. So, yeah, there we go. As you can see, so useful. Because let me see. What, what's the closest area to me? It would have been here, which I would have been a while, I'm pretty sure. I think at least would have taken us a good minute or two. So, I mean, we did definitely save a great amount of time. If you ask, uh, you know what? Please don't ruin it. Thank you. All right. Because yeah, if you swim underneath the uh, uh, cubes you make, then that ain't no good. But okay, I think we can easily swim this. Come on, don't push us back. There goes the Lazelfo and Camouflage. I don't really care for it. I'm here to do this. Burn everything. I feel like we did. Did we really not do a shrine like this? I feel like we did. One very, very similar to this. I don't know why, but okay. This is the point. Uh, I, I'm, I bet some of the shrines are very similar. I'm just overthinking it. But either way, let's see what this one is about. I'm always excited to see what these ones are because I feel like we're going to, uh, you know, we're going to take it on easily. But if it is a like one that requires physics or a little platforming or something, I may screw it up because that's more so um, RNG. Oh, okay, no, this one, this one's pretty straightforward if you ask me, right? So we just go ahead and do this. The water pours up. And then we do it again. And that's it. I'm trying to think. You know what? Let's not even. I'm not gonna bother with this yet. Let's just go ahead and do this. Boom. It's probably gonna hit it again though. Stop it. Yeah. Okay. I got it. I, I think I figured this one out. Yeah. This one took me a second to to get. Actually, I got a way better idea. So instead of doing it the way the game wants you to, which is now I'm gonna go ahead and just describe this just in case you guys don't know what I'm trying to do. So, and you make my way to the other side here while the water is still up, and then have this thing rotating. So I start rotating this. Once it starts rotating, I quickly swim to the other side, and then I um, will make it in time for it to hit the switch, and I'll be there, and I guess I'll be able to open up the door or something beyond those lines. But if I do this, let's see how well this works. <laughs> gonna be awesome so let's see if I even have to do anything beyond this just go ahead and drop it like this I think that's it actually actually I could try this as well so all right uh, there we go so go ahead and no 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 that was so stupid on my part I don't know why I did that but okay <laughs> so what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to place another bomb that won't get affected by the first one that way if I need to set it off a second time, I can. So maybe, let's just see if this bomb will place. Fine. Yes, it will. Okay, I, th I think it will hit it. So, all right. Now all we need to do is swim to the other side. And then uh, I guess we're done. Because if I go ahead and grab this. Oh, wait, this is way easier than I thought, actually. All I need to do is place this here. And then what? Uh, actually, wait, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, because it floats. There we go. Yeah. So, let's go ahead and detonate this one first. It sinks. And then we can head inside. But, what I do remember, you may say, why did I place a second bomb? Because I do believe then you want to do this. Oh, it didn't hit it. 
Oh, cause of what? I'm so dumb. The the crinosis wouldn't be there anymore. Maybe I should have detonated the one on the crinosis rune first, and then did the one on the platform. That way, it didn't sink down. I'm so stupid. Okay, well, either way, if I were to do it properly, the water would have uh, came up, and I would have been able to get this chest as well. But does it matter? No, because I'm not aiming for the chest. I never was really aiming for the chests. Especially in this playthrough, but I just thought I'd show off like a different way to do it, you know, kind of change things up because why not? <laughs> it, it didn't really work out for me, but hey, it, it, use this to your advantage if you want a easy way to get that chest. I don't know if there might be an easier way, you know, constantly rotating the thing, but I feel like that's easier in my opinion. Just make sure you blow up the one on the rune so when the water, um, you know, slowly, uh, what's it called, sinks you don't lose the bomb that it was placed on. I don't know why I didn't think of that part. How did that slip through my mind completely? This is why sometimes when recording, I feel like I do stuff I would never do. Maybe it might be, yeah, because I'm so wrapped up with what I'm saying that I'm not paying too much attention to the game itself. And that's no good sometimes. Um, maybe all the time, but that's beside the point. Okay, so let's see if Hyla can get to us from here. I can hear, she can hear us, or uh, he, and I'm trying to think, Agro, I see I'm so used to saying Epona, because Epona is a she, but I'm trying to think, Agro is a he, I'm pretty sure, so yeah, Agro, he can't hear us, but I, I don't know if it, I, I don't even know if you can tell the genders within this game, I doubt you can tell the genders for the horses to begin with, but we're just going to go with the he, Agro is a he. Wait, pause the video, did you just assume Agro's gender? Uh, what? You heard me. You don't even know the gender of this horse, and you're going with the he. Uh, does it matter? It's a video game, right? Uh, you're right, but, I mean, wouldn't you want to refer to Agro as the gender it was in its original game? True, um, wasn't it a guy, right? If my memory serves me correctly? Well, believe it or not, that's actually a common misconception. There's actually been a lot of confusion about Agro's gender in Shadow of the Colossus, with the mistranslation in the tutorial with it referring to the Horus as a he instead of a she. But believe it or not, Agro's actually a female and not a male. Oh, I never knew that. Well, I guess now I know for the next video, because throughout the rest of this video, I referred to Agro as a he instead of a she. But, I mean, whatever. Uh, now I know. Knowing this now doesn't change the fact that you're still dumb. Thanks. Anyways, let's move on with the video. Uh, yes. Uh, and I, for some reason, thought I had Hylia with me. The reason why I wanted uh, the white Royal White Stellan to be named Hylia is that way, when I whistle, like, and Hylia isn't near me, it says Hylia cannot hear your call. And she's like, well, I'm screwed. <laughs> Hylia's no longer here, not watching over me. <laughs> But, yeah, no, it's too late now. Now I'm explaining the joke, because, I mean, it's ruined, you know. <laughs> not really. But, uh, I'd rather just keep Hagro with me, so I'm not going to bother taking out Hylia to, to do that. Let's just go ahead and move on. Um, let's go ahead and actually... Hmm. Trying to think. So, yeah, just Shrine Tower. There is another shrine over there. I guess we'll, just, we'll do that one after the tower. So, yeah, we'll focus uh, this video on the, at least getting the military training grounds tower, the area around uh, Korak Forest, so that way it's all ready to go when it's time to make our way there for the Master Sword. Because, like I said, we're getting very, very close. Actually, I think we might have, let's see. We're, yeah, we're. With, see, the thing is, with the one Rivali heart, I think we have exactly enough. No, we, we need four more, I think. I think just four more, and we'll have exactly enough to get the Master Sword. So, literally, four more shrines. If I'm doing the right math. I don't know why. For some reason, having this extra heart from the Divine Beast Meadow is throwing me off. I don't know why it is. You literally just one heart, but whatever. Um, let's go ahead and go this. Whoa, the texture's taking a good second to load in and i'll just realize on horseback i don't think majora's mask does anything plus i kind of prefer midna's helm a lot more midna's helm to me looks yeah, it looks the best in terms of headgear so i want to wear it the most at least definitely in this playthrough so i'm going to try to keep it on from here on out i only had the majora's mask because a lot of people were telling me to use it personally i don't want to use it but i just want to give it a shot 
and see how it worked for me. But since we're on horseback most of the time, enemies still notice you, so... It doesn't matter. I, mean, I guess they don't really notice. They could notice you. Whatever. Let's go ahead and jump down. I don't need no elevator. We got this. <laughs> okay, let's see. Do I have... No, I don't. Okay. I was looking for a uh, sledgehammer, which I believe we're going to be picking up, but I might not have... Yeah, the right amount of items in my inventory, so... I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one and actuate. Yeah. No, wait, wait, I can't. I love this claymore because... I mean, look at it. It looks so cool. The scabbard, everything about it. So, we're gonna get rid of the broadsword because it doesn't look as cool. And yes, I'm literally keeping it because of the way it looks. And it's a two-handed sword. But I feel like we've had it since the beginning of this playthrough. You know what? Let's see how long we can keep this exact uh, soldier's claymore. Or if we find a new one, I'll just break it and replace it. But if not, <laughs> yeah. All right. I love the shrine music and everything, but this one might give me some trouble and might get a little annoying. Actually, I don't really know if it will. But, uh, yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and do this. Wait, why did I hit it that way? I was... Wait. Oh, what? That was amazing. That was, it was all planned. All planned. All planned. Oops, okay, not really. <laughs> We're gonna act that cocky. I did not expect that. That was sick. That was awesome. I didn't <laughs> Look, man, I'm hitting it the wrong way. But yeah, overall, this mini game is pretty fun. I kind of want to do the second one. Should I? Uh, I feel like I, I'll never be able to, um, to do better than what I just did. So, you know, yeah, let's just keep it at that. So, yeah, you can play a second version and get another chest. It's not really worth it, but it's cool that it's there. It's a more difficult version because you don't have... Well, I mean, if I can land that exact same shot, I would have been able to do that uh, on the other one because there is no, like, pathway leading to the goal, and I managed to get it right in, which was awesome, but I'm not going to try my luck with that again. I feel like that was once in a lifetime. Luckily, we captured it. Or maybe I'm over exaggerating a bit, but either way, I'm not gonna bother. Um, I feel like in general I get unlucky when it comes to recording and trying to perform some, uh, you know, tricky things and scenarios. So why bother? Hey, I, I seem like I have p people used to call it let's players curse, where you just can't, you know, perform what you want on camera for some reason. Um, I would say it's just more so. It, like re when recording it yeah things won't go I, may, maybe just picturing things going well like as you planned is not the best way and that's what I used to do in my videos like I'd rather just record it like without commentating and then um, commentate over it after I was done recording but that was way back and that's when I was trying to do more so walkthroughs to kind of make my gameplay a lot better and mainly focus on the gameplay but now I just like playing along and it's like it's yeah it wouldn't make sense doing it otherwise in my opinion let's see if aggro is close enough if not we have a stable I mean I, I can usually little use a stable but no you know what? I'm gonna have aggro catch up to me while we slowly walk our way to our destination, which I believe is going to be, let's actually read these signs here. So uh, the Hyrule Ridge is up here. So Death Mountain is actually over here. So where is Agro? Agro, don't get stuck right now. Oh, I think, I think he's stuck. Oh no, okay, he's coming, sweet. All right, let's go ahead and grab this. Yo, I actually need to do, um, hmm, once I get more arrows and I'm not like, starving for arrows i'm probably gonna try to do the um the military training gown horse archery minigame thing that actually gives you the uh the soldiers um bridle and uh freaking whatever the other thing for the horses the bridle and saddle thing that link is using to sit on yeah that actually we can't think hey yo check out this animation oh yeah let's go <laughs> okay chill <laughs> You need to chill out, girl. I'll just keep you here. Well, I'll be able just to easily find you from possibly jumping off this. See, I'm looking for the military training grounds tower, which is over here. And this one will give us the information we need for, uh, for like I said before, our training camp. I keep saying grounds, but whatever. Same thing. Um, 
But yeah, uh, what's it called? This will give us the information for the uh, Great Deku Tree, which is what I really want, and hopefully I can reach this without falling in. Okay, we're fine. Don't want to wake up this enemy. Okay, well, you're awake. Let me go ahead and just be very careful. No one, don't notice me, guys. Okay, you know what? Abort mission. Let's go ahead and throw it. I don't think this is going to work out. Ah, oh, God. I just wanted to do that because it reminds me so much of Wind Waker. I love how you can do that. And I believe you can actually trick enemies like that. But okay. Oh, no. Okay. I don't know how your fire arrows even work in the rain, but all right. I'll uh, not question that. I'm just going to move on. Where is the tower? There it is. Okay. Just got to keep it advancing and make sure I don't get caught by an enemy's attack. One enemy attack and I'm dead for. I'm sure of it. Like... Oh, man. Okay, well, I, actually, I don't think these guys would kill me in a hit. But either way, maybe I should have better armor on. Let's see. The champion's tunic's great. Uh, it's the best thing outside of the um, the other armor, which is the phantom set. But that can't be upgraded. So I'm just going to yeah, use the champion's tunic. Whoa, this thing's alive? Was it always awake? Huh. Either way, you're gonna die. So, one, two, three, four, five. Broke. But you're also broken. Haha. <laughs> okay, let's just grab whatever you have to drop. None. Hmm. You yeah, know, we got this. We'll definitely reach. Rivali, you're the man, right? Yeah, you're the man. See, this. This is too easy. For Rivali, I mean, you, you even gotta try. Woodland Tower, here we are. Boom. Once again. And we're done. It's all we had to do, my friends. <laughs> that was actually awesome. I love scaling the towers this easily. Like, I'm glad we <laughs> rushed Rivali's scale for this reason. I don't care how cheap some people might find this. To me, this is fun because I've never done this before. Never scaled them like this. I always did it before I did any Divine Beast. Every single tower, so. Doing it this way is just, yeah, much nicer. Wonder how cool it would be to have Arbosa's Fury as well, because then you could knock out all the enemies around the tower as well, especially for Ridgeland Tower, which we should do soon as well. Um, kind of left that one just because I know it's tough, but again, with Revolta's Gale, it shouldn't be, so we'll head to it soon. But all right, there we go. We got it. The information has been downloaded on our map, which is the Woodland region. What is this region actually known as? Is it woodland? Just the woodlands, you know, of Faron, or not Faron? Faron woods is completely different. <laughs> of uh, the Lost Woods or Korok Forest or whatever it'd be known as. But okay, either way, let's just leave. So our Horus should be. Uh, we can just see it on the map. I should have done that. What are those white things? Are those enemies? I feel like there's too many of them. They are enemies. I think it's just skeletons just broken up. Or, I don't know. Okay. Either way. Wow. We traveled so much without aggro. And I didn't really notice. Like, But we're able to easily get back so much quicker by traveling in air. Like, the air traveling also changes so much of the gameplay within this game. The fact that you can travel within the air. Not many. I don't think any open world game has it to where it's like... Especially the glider mechanic. Like, yeah, I'm sure there are games where you can maybe fly in the air. The example would be, like, GTA, I guess. But, um, I mean, this is something else, though. Because it's just, like, anything you can climb immediately, and then you can just glide right off. And, yeah, that is awesome. But I, it's mainly because of the climbing me mechanic that you have, uh, that you are able to glide anywhere. Because you can climb literally anything, which is a thing that you don't really see in games. And usually when you do... It's not to like, I don't know, this is just, it feels very realistic in the sense that there's so much to find. Uh, and it's all so well put together. So I just love that fact. But okay, I'm going to leave aggro at the moment because we're going to go ahead and look for another. Uh-oh, please don't hit me because you're probably going to kill me in a hit. So I need to like kind of try to, uh, to uh, avoid its attack. Okay, it gave up on me either way. <laughs> what the heck? I'm like, I gotta be really careful. Oh, he's still chasing me, actually. But, you yeah, have to be careful in general, because pretty sure you can kill me in a hit as well. I mean, I don't know. Any knight's bow would probably do more than four hearts, right? I don't really know how to gauge the, the way enemies' attacks work within this game, to be honest. Because I think it's only their weapon, but I'm pretty sure it also matters on the enemies. Because I feel like I've seen enemies... They have really good weapons, but are weak and don't do a lot of damage. Or maybe 
their weapons aren't good. I don't know, see, that's the thing. I, I have to, like, really look into it. But with the champion's tunic, at least, we'll be able to get a better idea of how much HP they're healing. I should pay more attention to that, so that will help out. That's the main reason why I have it on, actually. Um, but I will look for something else to put on, just because, like I said, I wasn't going to aim for only wearing that, even though it is my favorite, uh, like, a t piece of attire within the game. It should be anyone's, really, with how good defense it gives you and, and the benefit it gives you in general which is the uh freaking um hp stat thing and oh look it's speaking of which we'll be able to see the hp of this enemy so this is sweet um that and the fact that i mean just look at how sick link looks with this i love how the master sword is literally drawn on like i wish this shirt existed in real life but like was a tunic like this not like a shirt because i've seen people try to sell shirts like where it cuts off from the waist but it needs to be like a tunic like Lynx. Um, and yeah, I would definitely wear this because it looks so awesome for what it is. And I'm really a fan of bright colors. I'm sure you, if you're going to tell by every single video of mine, I'm usually wearing a dark colored shirt. Uh, but this would, I mean, I'd wear this bright colored shirt anytime because of how cool it is. But okay, let's go ahead and do this. So this is a medium battle or whatever, but it doesn't really matter because we're going to kill this guy within seconds because I got stasis, I got, uh-oh, uh-oh, <laughs> got stasis, that's all I really need actually. Shield is badly damaged, that's not good, but let's go ahead and, whoa, what was that attack? Did not expect it to do that. Oh, it's going to have a slash, okay. Keep attacking. I just want to. I don't know if I want to bring the sword on it. I mean, we're we're going to get. It's, if I ever get its axe, I'll be happy. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and go ahead. Uh, go ahead and. Oh, it's going to spin. Let's see what kind of. You know, we'll just do this. So, uh, and then. Let's go. Let's see how much damage I'll end up doing in this time frame. Uh. Come on, before you can do- Oh, okay, bro. Before I can do anything else, it's fine. Because you're dead. We're going to shock you and hit you until you die. Yay. Or right, we broke, I believe, enough weapons to pick up both of these without having to drop anything. Perfect. And we are done. So yeah, these are always straightforward. Whether it's minor, major, or... Uh, wait, modest, that is. I believe this was modest, right? Um, yeah, they're all easy. The garden battles are very simple. You don't need to even use the flurry rush. The um, oh, parry would be kind of stupid, actually. Actually, parrying enemies normally never really works, to be honest. Um, like normal enemies, I'd say only Lionels. You'll find it very helpful, and obviously guardian beams and stuff. But when you try to parry a normal attack, the most you get is a very small window to hit him. But I mean, if you have stasis upgraded, that's in my opinion the best of the best. But all right, you got another shrine it down. I'm trying to think. I could have had to literally center Hyrule and find two or three easy shrines to pick up. But I wonder if I wanna make my way all the way over there because aggro isn't really that nearby at the moment uh though i would like to fit at least one or two more shrines uh within this video alongside because we haven't really done much like this video was a lot more traveling than it was uh doing like main objectives like we kind of just you know explored for shrines and stuff like that everything on horseback i enjoyed it though <laughs> but I enjoy any scenario when it comes to playing this game. I can just play this game and do anything, of course. So, yeah, I'm more than happy to play this game for you guys. So, to me, I don't really care what I do to begin with. But, okay. Uh, where is Agro, buddy? I hope you're... Okay, you are in front of us. So, I'll be able to glide straight to you. And I guess from there, we're going to go ahead and take... A sharp turn, maybe? Man, now that I do have, um, the, uh, whatever it's called. You know what? Actually, maybe I shouldn't head to aggro. Maybe I should just take aggro and make my way to Ferron. Because I was going to say, maybe we should make our way over to Death Mountain. But I don't even want to attempt doing that until we get those, uh, hardy durians that i was telling you guys about so it looks like yeah we're gonna make our way back to Fenron, pick up aggro and head deeper within there maybe try to find the tower literally if we find a Fenron tower uh then we're set because right by Fenron tower is a bunch of hardy durians and i mean if i could if i do five at the same time i'll do i believe 25 hearts plus 
which will give me almost max hearts. I think we'll have literally one off. I think, or can you get plus 30 hearts? Either or, it doesn't matter. We'll have so many additional temporary hearts. And I'm going to do that because, to, yeah, I, I would just like to do that before making my way to Death Mountain. Before, you know, racking a lot more game overs that don't need to be had. <laughs> You know, I'd like to prevent some, but I would also like to keep the low heart challenge going. So, yeah, let's go ahead and grab aggro real quickly. So you can even see the, the little uh, um, thing underneath its mane, uh, uh -huh. like the marking yeah. on its forehead. Uh, even in like the drawing, which is really cool. But yeah, I, I just freaking love how accurate it is. And actually, you know what? I'll be sure like alongside this horse right now I'll put like in here let me actually I guess I'll get a good view of aggro and then I'll maybe edit in because I do have Shadow of the Colossus as well I'll try to edit in a good view of the actual aggro horse um so yeah this is obviously the 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 one I made up uh the Breath of the Wild aggro but I'll be sure to show off the crappy PS3 graphic version of how aggro looks within uh, actually Shadow of the Colossus. And you guys can see the similarities with, uh, yeah, just how it looks in general. So, yeah, this is obviously the Breath of the Wild one. Freaking love the way it looks, though, because it looks very similar. I'll be sure to, like, if I remember to, yeah, edit in right now or something, aggro from Shadow of the Colossus. If the HD version was out, I'll do a comparison as well. I would have. But it's not out actually. But maybe then, maybe in a year. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I'll care then, you know. But I can't wait to play it then. So all right, there we go. I'm done with it now. I showed you guys. You guys get it. Whether you play Shadow of the Colossus or not, you have to now see the similarities because I literally showed it to you. So yeah, deal with it. But now let's go ahead and start twirling this bad boy. Oh heck yeah! Check it out. Link is feeling it right now. <laughs> I don't know where I mean by that, but I mean, I just like the fact that you can twirl this while moving around and it should hit enemies if, uh, you know, I can't actually get it to, but, nah, I'm not going to. Just go ahead and move and wait, what, a shrine this easy to find? Okay, well, you know what, let's just go ahead and grab this shrine then. Why is it this easy? How is it this easy? I did not even bother looking. It's great. Agro, why'd you run? What's going, oh, Octorok, that's... This Octorok is like chasing us down too. Alright, that's weird, but I'm not gonna bother even messing with it, because what's it gonna give me? Probably nothing helpful. So, alright, let's see what this shrine is about. Actually, I just remembered. Maybe after taking on this shrine, we should teleport back to the other one we didn't finish and end off with that, because uh, I forgot about that one. And hey, look, another minor test. Okay. A minor test, actually. I believe the other one was a. Um, Modest test. I think it's called modest, right? I don't know. See, I don't ever pay attention to it, and that's like the one I always question. I'm always like minor, major, and then uh, the middle one. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it is modest. I'll look through the video. But either way, it's gonna die once it uh, wakes up. So once you are awake, you are now asleep, and now you are dead. Yes. That was nice. <laughs> I don't even need any of its weapons. It was pretty weak, pretty crappy, pretty useless if you ask me. So I'm just gonna take photos of it while I'm at it. Why not? Here we go. It's not really the best photo, but I don't care because I'm actually I do want to have uh, this file not buy one photo from Simon and have every single photo uh, be like this be uh, pick, be taken by me. So I want this one to look super amazing. Check this out. So not only do we have the photo of the chest, but then you see blurred out the Sheikah monk in the background. I think that's a pretty artistic photo if you ask me. But you know what? Uh, I don't really care for this boomerang. I'm just gonna move on. I don't really care if I ever fill up my compendium in this file. I just wanna not end up doing the other way in purchasing stuff. It's already too late that I have to purchase something because I didn't I already killed when Blight Ganon without taking a photo of it. But it's not like it was my fault or that I forgot because I mean I couldn't take a photo of Wind Blight Ganon. Um I didn't have my Sheikah Slate fix then. Like we did Wind Blight before that could even happen. And sadly you can't retake really on the bosses again. I don't know why they didn't have that to be a thing. Like they should have given you a similar boss gauntlet to Ocarina of Time 3D. Or a just Majora's Mask cool gimmick let you refight the bosses. Let me think. Twilight Princess sadly didn't let you as well. No, Scared Sword did. So, yeah. I wish they did that as well. Something like Scared Sword. 
That would have been awesome. Like a boss gauntlet. But okay. Agro, you wait here. Let's go ahead and now take on this shrine. So maybe the final shrine for the video and then yeah, we'll teleport back here and end off, and then from there we'll move on with aggro. Deeper within Foron. Foron? I was mixing Feron with Korok. Foron, yes, no. Deeper within Feron Woods, uh, get the tower, get some hardy durians, and then we'll get the Master Sword. Because by the time we get whatever shrines is within Feron, we'll have way more than enough for the Master Sword. I'm pretty sure. So, I'm hyped. I'm really hyped. Like, we're going to be getting it early. Probably by the 10th episode, we'll have it. If, wait, this is the 9th episode, right? So, maybe not the next, but 11th episode. Something like, soon. <laughs> You know, I'm not going to give an episode number, but soon, maybe in, in a couple episodes, to say the least. Much earlier than before, by like, maybe 10 episodes or something. I don't know. We're, we're definitely taking our time. Like, if I wanted, I could have probably got the Master Sword within the third episode or fourth, if we, like, ran through the shrines. But I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to do a lot of things at once. And, okay, passing gates. So, yeah, this one, um, you know, nothing too extreme. What is this, actually? What am I supposed to do? Just move this outside. And then... Okay, wait. Now move this inside. I don't remember this one, but don't worry. Trust me, I will not get stuck. I, I know these are all easy. They're all in the back of my head. Oh, okay. I'm stupid. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Let's go ahead and now do this. And then grab this ball and I'm gonna go ahead and be as persistent as I can be I don't think this is how you have to do it but I don't really care now I'm just gonna try to finish this as soon as possible so grab it like this and we're gonna go ahead and move around and I'm gonna toss it oh maybe I don't need to toss it yet actually wait if I toss it it will fly through and hit that so that's it actually it's pretty simple I don't, I don't know why I'm, yeah, I'm overthinking this. I think this is it. We did it. This is the shrine. Oh, wait. Oh, the door is locked. So, yeah, okay. Never mind. Okay, I was, I was trying to jump the gun here, but don't give me a second. Um, yeah, this. Is this. The, this is the key. Okay. Yeah, I definitely overthought that one. <laughs> What the hell? It was that easy, actually. I don't know why I was, like, thinking it'd be something else. Okay, let's go ahead and hit this one more time. Unlock the door for ourselves. And now, my friends, we are ready. Let's peace out. Woo! Oh, wait. Crap. Think fast! Uh, what do I need to do? This! Uh. Okay, whoa! Did that work? Please don't hit the wall. Uh, actually, wait. Watch this, guys. I'm going to show you something so tactical. You guys will not see this coming. Okay, never mind. Wait, let me try one more time. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Ah, uh, dang it. So, we just hit this again. And then, well, in the air, I forgot about that part. That's pretty clever, though, for the puzzle. And then we can easily grab this if needed. Right, um, you know what? Let's check what's inside of it. Probably something I'm not going to be able to keep with me. Ooh, feathered edge. That looks too good to let it slide. So, um, we're heading to Korok for it soon. I'm going to get some dwellers' weapons anyways. So, let's just grab this. Hell yeah. <laughs> this looks freaking awesome. Right, there we go. I don't know why I wasn't using the Highland Shield as well for some reason. But now we are set. We have finished the shrine. Uh, it was easy as expected, though. Um, no, it was easy. I, I was overthinking it, honestly. I thought it was going to be difficult, but it wasn't. Uh, but anyway, but I've done it before, so it's not, I'm not trying to show off, trust me. Usually when I see these are easy, it's the last thing I mean. I mean, I think you guys know that already, with the fact that I played this game before. <laughs> but, anywho, let's end off the video here. I think we're going to endure one more loading screen. So, uh, let's see how long this one takes. Taking it's uh it's not really taking that long. I believe like in the last video we had one that literally took so long that I was able to add the new wave boss Nova theme. Um, 
after I realized how long it was taking. And I felt like I had to add in. For those wondering, yes, that was a theme I added. Uh, if you're wondering why I added it, because it may seem a little weird, that is because, I mean, to me, that sounds like elevator music. Don't get me wrong, I love the new wave bossa nova theme from Majora's Mask, but it kind of reminds me of elevator music. I mean, it's a bad thing, it just reminds me of it. Still love it. But okay, so. There we go. Last loading screen for the video. I'm going to end off actually here. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Like I said, next episode, we're pretty much going to do as mentioned with the whole, um, you know, hopefully getting some hardy durians in Faron, exploring more of Faron, and then focusing on the Master Sword. The Master Sword is immediately next. I just want some hardy durians. I want some fruit. You know, I'm hungry. I want to go look for some delicious fruit and we're gonna find the king of fruit in Ferron Woods and that's the plan I think someone's screaming they need our help but do I care no I'm here to end off the video we're done here so Hyrule I know you're in need of uh, you know a hero but the hero is uh, you know off duty right now and I'm gonna go ahead and relax right <laughs> not really but thank you all so much for watching this episode of Breath of the Wild Master Mode uh, having a lot of fun with this. Uh, let me know if there's anything you guys want me to do after the Master Sword. Always open to you guys' suggestions. Uh, so far, you guys seem to be completely down with everything I'm doing. Because you seem to be joining. Oh, like, uh, you guys are down just to join me throughout whatever ride I take. So, yeah. Uh, I'm having fun either way. Anyways, again, thank you all so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like. It's always appreciated. Um, but anyways, that does it for this episode, as mentioned before. I've been Zelda Master, as mentioned many times as well. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!